Hey Shopify users, in this video I am going to show you how you can place a test order with a dummy credit card. So Shopify gives us the option to do some testing with these credit card numbers they provide. So it's a little process to set that up and I am going to show you. So what you are going to do is you are going to go into settings and then go into payments. Okay, so here you will see this manage link. So click on manage. And then down here where it shows all these payment methods, what you should do is uncheck these options here. You can leave these on, just these accelerated payment methods down here, Apple Pay, Google Pay, Facebook Pay. So once you have unchecked these, go all the way down and here you will see this enable test mode. Click that, save, Shopify is running a little slow right now, I guess. All right. Once you've done that, you can see this is saved. What you are going to do is go to your site and go to whichever product you want to buy. and say we will buy this product go in here and add to cart we cart and we will check out All right, so in here, you want to use an email where you would like to see um, a confirmation email come. This is a dummy order, so of course, but at least you, 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 know, you will get a view of how the email would look. So enter the email address. And then here you could just add anything. You could add your name or anything else. You'll have your address. And then continue the shipping. select whatever option you want to select continue payment and this next step is where you are going to add this um, dummy credit card info and um, I will leave this information in the description there's a few numbers Shopify provides so I have already copied the number so I am going to just put that in here and name again can be I guess what's we ordered uh, entered before so it can be any future date here and then security code can be any three digits 
I'll leave the same as shipping, the address, pay now. Wow, Shopify is really taking its time today. Alright, so you see a confirmation here. That is good. Go and look in your orders. There's an order here and of course this is the test order you just placed and if we click on this you can see on top of it it's it's a test order so um, you can check whatever if you want to take a look at it and then maybe you want to keep this record maybe you don't if you don't want this uh, there's a couple of options what you can do is first you can just archive this order so you'll click here and up here more actions you will archive and you can see kind of grayed out the order now you could keep it like this if you want or you can also totally get rid of this here down below you will see delete order so you have to archive the order in order for you to delete it uh, this will not show here if you haven't archived it so you could totally go ahead and delete this order delete mm -hmm. is gone and you were able to test with a dummy credit card that your site is working fine now of course you have to revert back the information uh, so we go back into payments and go back in manage and check these again all these methods that you allow or whichever ones you allow and then all the way down you could just deactivate uh, sorry not deactivate enable test mode and check that and save it I think it gives you the option to turn off the test mode right on that first page but then I believe you still have to check these other payment methods that we turned off so all right so this is back to where it was so another thing is if you used a real email address while placing the order you can also see you will get a confirmation email just like your customers will and that is pretty good so uh, if you go into your emails you can see email came from the store name exactly like your customers will get a confirmation email so that is pretty good that's it see you in the next video thanks